Hey, okay. this is the Val Javibi Show <laughs> broadcasting here live from Dallas, Texas on the global platform. Who do I have in the studio with me? So this is Elizabeth Adelaide. I'm a Shot at Life champion with the United Nations Foundation Shot at Life campaign. And well, and welcome, Elizabeth. And who Thank else? You. This is Dr. Namalam Kopi uh, from Tanzania. I'm a pediatrician there. Well, Dr. Namala, thank you so very much for joining us. If you will get us started, Dr. Namala, and set the, the uh, uh, medical platform about pneumonia remains the number one killer of children in developing countries. Yes, pneumonia remains the number one killer in developing country, accounting for about 15% of, of child death under five years of age. Uh, every year it accounts for near to a million child death uh, because of this very disease. And uh, in our setup there, it's so much difficult to, to, to make sure that children are uh, surviving this because of the medical infrastructure that are available in place. But again, that's why we are, we are struggling and fighting to make sure that uh, in every one child out of five that are not getting vaccine actually gets it. Okay, Elizabeth, Dr. Namala told us this problem. Does your organization, can it help us find a solution? Uh, well, we have the solution. We have the vaccines that can save lives of these children. It's really a matter of getting access to um, developing countries and to, to the children who need them most. And that's where the United Nations Foundation Shot at Life campaign comes in because we raise awareness and we advocate to our uh, government representatives and we ask them to support funding for global vaccines. What about these war-torn countries? I'm sure they're affected by that. How do you deal there? Well, we leave that to our partners on the ground. Um, our goal is to get our government to support getting the access to these countries. And our partners on the ground um, you know, are up against all sorts of challenges in these developing countries. And sadly, it's usually the children who really suffer the most in those instances. And it's not fair that a child um, should die just because of where they live. It's not, definitely. I think my philosophy, every parent on this planet wants the same thing. We want good food, we want schooling for our children, and we want a place, we want them to be healthy, wealthy, and a place to live that's safe. That's every parent's dream, no matter where you live. Sure. Let me ask you, Dr. Namala, with this vax, uh, this pneumonia, being a killer, uh, is, is there certain countries where it, it, it's higher than other countries? Yes, definitely. Uh, among uh, many other countries that are affected, the bigger burden of this disease is among 30 countries, and it's a count of 60% uh, of uh, all global death of pneumonia. Just 30 countries that are in sub-Saharan Africa and some South, Af South Asia. All right, Elizabeth, you said your job is to get your partners to make sure that this can happen. What can we do as American citizens who uh, uh, are very open-hearted and very big-hearted? What can we do? That's right. So you can go to the shotatlife.org website, and there you will find advocacy tools, and you'll find ways to reach out to your government representatives and ask them to support global vaccines um, and fund global vaccines. It's one of the best investments that, that our government can make in global health. And there are advocacy tools there for you to spread awareness among your own community so that every child can have that shot at life that they deserve. Could some community organization take this on as a project and help out? Absolutely, there are all sorts of tools um, and how you can go about doing that. You can find that on the shotatlife.org website. Um, I never expected that I personally would be an advocate and on Capitol Hill speaking to my congressional representatives, but as you said, as a mother, I cannot imagine losing one of my own children to a vaccine preventable disease and I don't think any mother should anywhere in the world. And it really makes you use your voice um, to let your representatives know what you care about. I want to thank you both, Elizabeth and Dr. Namala, for talking about pneumonia and its remaining the number one killer of children in developing countries. Your listening audience, you've heard them say that one in five children do not have access to vaccines and need to survive. You can make a difference. I want to thank you guys very much. Thank Thanks you for having us. us.